beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the November 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, Scorpio, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. But let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a look just general what's coming for November. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're also going to do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you. But starting in column number one, which is again what's wrapping up and coming to a close last few weeks or month, we have the potential card. Always love to see the potential card. Um, this means that in general you just have so much potential, Scorpio. Um, and I feel like you've lived into this potential. Um, so really, really nice energy there. Uh, capitalizing on some of that potential, potentially taking on a new opportunity. Well, let's see what messages we have here for you. The first card we have is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card of withdrawal, retreat, moving on. If you look at this card, the Eight of Cups are stacked really nicely, but yet the person in the background is still walking away. They're moving forward. I like to say this is going from good to better. Uh, the grass is greener on the other side. So definitely going after that potential that's available. The next card that we have is the Seven of Cups. When I see the Seven of Cups, I just like know that it's been busy for you. So I would say these last few weeks or months, Scorpio, have been relatively busy. Um, there's something different in each cup going on. Cup two, so there's just a lot going on. This could be like a struggle to commit to something though too. The Seven of Cups can be very non-committal because there's so many options, because there's so many things going on. But it does look like you uh, saw the potential in one path and decided to uh, go for it. And at the bottom here, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is very long-term type energy. Um, I do feel like this decision is going to lead to new money for you. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles being kind of that large lump sum card. Uh, but in general, it's just a good long-term move. So nice work these last few weeks, Scorpio. Let's see what other information I can provide you here. The first card we have is the Ace of Pentacles. Not super surprised to see the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, well, anytime we have an Ace card, is a card of newness. The Ace of Pentacles is new job, raise, promotion, investment, some sort of new income. I definitely did see this change, of course, this committing, this moving towards this potential leading to new money. Um, so this very well could be financial or job related, but definitely new money with this change that's coming um, moving towards that potential, committing to that path. The next card that we have the devil is the devil card. The devil card is a card of greed, envy, materialism, obsession. I feel like you did think long and hard about this decision and kind of like weighed each path, weighed each thought. Um, and that could be a lot to think about. So I think the devil is just a reflection of how much thought went into this. The next card that we have is the page of swords. The Page of Swords is very um, gossipy. It's kind of like a drama gossip truth card. I will say like, I don't know that you've shared your business yet, Scorpio, and I don't know that I would be in a hurry to. Um, you can kind of like just keep to yourself as you go through this transition. And then once you're at the point of celebrating, then share the information. That's kind of the message I have there for you. Okay, now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to just what's coming in general for November. The next card we have is Surface. Surface is an interesting one. Um, this is about like letting things bounce off the surface, kind of have this barrier protector around you and letting things just like kind of bounce off. We only absorb the good and not the bad. This is also about like making a connection deeper than just the surface. So having some ability to be open, but being open for the right things. Let's go ahead and take a look here though and see what messages we've got.
The first card we have is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very nurturing, very healing, very supportive. Um, this could definitely be a time of healing going into the month of November for you. I'm not sure exactly what we're healing from here, Scorpio, but healing seems to be a theme. The other thing is there does seem to be some completion or some reward. If you look at the cup on this card, it looks more like a trophy. So again, that would be like the reward for completing something or just an indicator that we have finished something. The next card that we have is the eight of, or excuse me, the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles is a card of worry. This is a card of wanting to isolate as well. And it's interesting. So surface again is about like blocking bad things out. But if we block out too much, then nothing gets in. So we need to be careful with isolation. Isolation can be a good thing, but we can't like fully shut down and block everybody out, if that makes sense. So we're going to clarify this card, but this is about being open to the right people and the right opportunities. At the bottom here, we have the strength card. The strength card is a card of self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. Fits really nicely in with that Queen of Cups healing that we were talking about just a little bit ago. This is also a courage card. And again, I think that courage is going to tie into being open for the right people, for the right circumstances. Let's go ahead and clarify though and see what messages we've got here. The first card we have is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain. Um, I think with this completion or finishing of something, there could be like a spot bonus or some sort of extra money with it. Um, this is also that card of self-sufficiency though. So again, being kind of uh, aware or careful of isolating a little bit too far. This is also saying like there are people that could support you to accomplish these things that want to help. Um, that collaboration teamwork can be important. The next card we have is the lover's card. The lover's card is a card of love. It's deep love, partnership. Um, this is like strength together. But again, this is knowing who to let in and when. Um, going back to the isolation, we won't like have this connection, obviously, if we're not letting anybody in Scorpio. So it's a very fine balancing act um, of keeping to yourself this month, but also being open to the correct people. At the bottom here, we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, anytime I see it, like yells freedom to me. Um, so this healing that we're going to be going through is definitely going to be very freeing. Totally makes sense there. Again, lots of self-respect, lots of self-love, unconditional love, those things that we need to heal. Um, and it's going to result in freedom. It's going to result in creativity. It's going to result in new drives and desires. Okay, let's take a look at our next column now, which is anything related to money. Think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, uh, whatever you associate with money, Scorpio. The first card that we have is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is, again, that freedom card that we were just talking about at the bottom of the other column. Um, this is a card of being very creative, though, too. I feel like you're going to... This is going one of two ways here. You're going to be assigned a new project uh, that you need to be really creative on, or you just need to take a more creative approach on whatever you're working on currently. Uh, so have an eye on creativity. Be looking, if you're wanting to invest, look for investments in different creative ways than you have in the past. Um, if you're starting a new project, take a new creative approach to it. It's just about doing something different than you've done before. The next card that we have is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is a card of having to kind of weigh options and make a decision. So there will be a decision in the month of November as it relates to money or finances or career. Um, make a very educated decision though. Have like a pros and cons list of both options uh, and really be weighing your options. This is a card of multitasking too. So I would envision that November is going to be relatively busy for you, Scorpio, in terms of work. At the bottom here, we have the Fool card. The Fool card is a card of fresh hope, taking chances, going on a new path, adventure. Again, make sure you take that creative approach as we move into this new beginning. Um, and in terms of the Two of Pentacles with the decision, you need to weigh your options. But if there is an old path and a new path, the Fool would surely encourage you to go on the new path. Let's clarify this column and see what other messages I can provide you here. 
The first card we have is the Hermit. The Hermit is about going within for clarity. If you take a look at this card, there's a light within the lantern and that is the light that's within you, Scorpio. Um, so make sure you're doing things that feel good for you. You need to do like a gut check, a heart check, um, and any information you need, you already have. You just have to go within to find it. Um, again, same thing with that creative approach. You kind of already know what you need to do, but it's having that check-in to figure out what you want to do. In terms of making the decision to definitely do what makes you feel good. The next card that we have is the Ten of Cups. For those of you who watched my readings before, you know the Ten of Cups is my favorite card in the entire deck. We have this nice full rainbow, a happy couple, kids playing, grass is green, water's running, there's a house in the background. The Ten of Cups is seriously the card of everything wonderful and that's why I love it. It's family, contentment, total love, support. This is also going to be like success, happiness, contentment on the other side. Um, I used to think contentment wasn't really that great, and as I've gotten older, I realize how hard it is to actually be content, so that's why I like contentment these days. Um, but this decision that you make is definitely going to be very happy. I want to throw it out there too for those of you trying to buy a house, it's going to be a good card for you too. At the bottom here, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is very nostalgic. It's a card of reflection. It can also be a card of reunion. Um, I will say you're going to look back so you can move forward. You're going to reflect on past experiences. You're going to reflect on where you've been, what jobs you've had, what investments you've made to make this decision going forward. And that's actually really good energy. Um, it's good to understand where we were so we can understand where we're going. So I like to see that. Potentially this new beginning could be somebody you've known before too. Uh, like that reunion or getting reconnected could be what's guiding you to this new path. Okay, now let's take a look at anything related to love, Scorpio, think family, friends, relationship, children, babies, marriage, whatever you associate with love. The first card that we have is the Six of Swords. I realize the Six of Swords looks a little gloomy, um, but I actually really like the Six of Swords. So the card is a little gloomy. Everyone's facing away from us. Their heads are hanging low. There's a bunch of swords stuck in the boat. But if you look at the boat, the boat's moving in a forward positive direction. Um, so this is not going through a necessary transition. And in some cases, this could be physically relocating or moving. Um, but we're in some sort of transition period for family relationships. We'll try and clarify that a little bit more. Some of you could be moving in together or moving to a different state. Or you could have a family member that's moving away. The next card we have is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very intentional and very thoughtful. Um, for those of you in a rela relationship right now, I do feel like it's very long term. It's long lasting. Um, and more importantly, I feel like you have similar goals, similar aspirations. You want to end up in the same place together, so that's helpful. Um, one thing to keep in mind with the King of Swords is this is a card of like leveraging a professional. So I'm just going to throw out an example, and it obviously is not relevant to this specific con uh, column, but just to give some context, let's say you're having car trouble, leverage a mechanic. Maybe you're having fertility issues, then leverage a fertility doctor. If you are having relationship issues, leverage a relationship counselor, that kind of thing. And I'm not saying any of those situations apply, but don't hesitate to leverage professional support as needed uh, when we see that King of Swords. The next card that we have is the High Priestess. This is a card of trusting your intuition. So kind of navigating through these situations, navigating through this relocation, this necessary change that we have going on. This is also a card of like not all of the information being available, so that's why it's important to trust your intuition. You're not gonna know every detail of every situation or scenario that you're going through right now. Uh, so just keep that in mind and that's why trusting your intuition is so important. The first card that we have is the Wheel of Fortune. For those of you that know and have watched my videos before, you know I love the Wheel of Fortune as well. This is a card of good luck, good fortune, and it's being at a turning point. So we are at a turning point. We're going through this necessary transition, but things look really dang good on the other side, Scorpio. So again, although we might not know all the information, we might not know exactly where we're going. Uh, definitely a positive change there for you. The next card that we have is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a speed, action, quick change card. So things are going to be moving pretty quickly. 
It's on top of that King of Swords. Um, what I'm seeing is like you're trying to plan as you go. So just be ready for it to be a little quick and have some of that kind of quick planning. Again, don't hesitate to use that professional if needed. And at the bottom here, we have the Strength card. The Strength card is a card of self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. Um, I like to see this. Again, this is all about being in that happy, healthy relationship. There's unconditional love, there's self-love, there's self-respect. So this is love for yourself and love for that other person and you're receiving love. Um, but definitely the other meaning of the strength card is courage. So with the lion on the card here, there's some unknowns and we have to have kind of have that courage to go through this transition and be thinking on the fly and making decisions on the fly. Okay, now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, Scorpio, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card time. The time card's an interesting one and it goes one of two ways. It's either now is the time to do something or things are taking more time than we would like them to. Let's see if we can put some definition behind that though, one way or the other. Um, but let's see what messages we have here. Okay. The first card that we have is the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is a card of desire for long-term security. There is something that you want right now, Scorpio, that you don't have. Uh, and I should clarify, this is the time to take action. Uh, it very quickly became apparent. Um, but anyways, with the Four of Pentacles, this is again your desire, so something you don't, you have, you want, but don't have currently. The next card that we have is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a card of self-imposed restrictions. So there's something right now, Scorpio, and I know that's a little blunt potentially to hear, but you are doing something right now that is preventing you from getting to that desire, preventing you from having what you want. So when we have this kind of situation, we need to assess, we need to realize what we're doing that's limiting ourselves and then adjust. And then the Hermit's going to echo that really nicely. Again, the Hermit card is going within for clarity. So we need to figure out what obstacle we have given ourselves that's hindering our ability to reach that desire. Let's go ahead and clarify this column and see what other messages I have here for you. The first card we have is the Eight of Swords. We just talked about the Eight of Swords. So again, there's something that's preventing you. There's some sort of self-imposed restriction that's keeping you from attaining that long-term goal. The next card that we have is the Moon card. The Moon card is about making a voluntary change. So we need to assess what we're doing. We need to acknowledge that it's potentially something we have done to ourselves and then make the decision to change in that favor or in that manner. Um, this is all about voluntary changes with the moon card. And at the bottom here, we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of like stress, exhaustion, having too many things going on. But it's like if you want to get this one thing done, if you want to fulfill this one desire, you need to be able to commit to it regardless of all of the things that are happening. Um, and when we talk about the Hermit going in for clarity, there almost needs to be some sort of realistic priority setting as well, Scorpio. Okay, at this point in time, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But for question number one, we have the Ace of Diamonds. This is the number nine card. That is going to be a no. Question number two is the Queen of Diamonds. This is number 12 card. That's going to be a yes. And question number three, we have the Ace of Clubs. This is number 31 card. That's going to be a no. So no, yes, no for you, Scorpio. We're also going to pull a card from our Healing Stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of November. You have Tiger's Eye this month, which is good for decision. Uh, it helps you view things from a distance, and it really just helps you decide on the right thing. It does seem like there's some decisions that need to be made, so Tiger's Eye will be good there for you this month. Last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Your Healing Note says, Endurance is one of the most difficult disciplines, but victory comes to those who endure. Thank you so, so much, Scorpio, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Uh, again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. If you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Scorpio, and I hope you have a wonderful November.